piles are drilled piles using a duplex drilling method where the drilling spools were turned between the air pipe and the casing. In this particular job, those microfiles have been constructed with five and a half inch casing material, a 10 foot rock socket. They have centralizer bar. I want to say this is going to be a number eight centralizer bar project, which the centralizer bar goes down the center of the pile and then gets grouted into position there. And that creates the bond zone between the rock socket below and the actual foundation. The purpose behind these piles is to keep the foundation, the mat slab on this particular building from heaving. What we have here is a, is a shale formation. The only way to get through this type of rock is to drill, uh, especially when you're looking at a tension application because you need to penetrate deep enough where you can create that load. Generally, micro piles are the last resort pile when you have obstructions or you have rock. What's most important is collecting the proper information on that ground so we know where to create what's called the bond zone of a micro pile. Whether that's in rock, which is a very stable bond zone situation, or whether that's in looser soils, which is really where you, you don't want to terminate in, but it is possible. One Ashore's specialty is installing micro piles in limited access areas. Ultimately, access is always an issue for everything you're doing in construction. There's always a way to get something in and out, but it's just a matter of, is it reasonable? And is there any other options that we can utilize to keep the costs reasonable for the client and continue moving the project forwards? So